And I will say, there are times when Golgari Grave Troll kind of compares favorably to Ancestral Recall. It's like a draw six. So for Ely Gazisa's Bant Retreat deck, got some interesting, interesting aspects to it to help add to this combo element he now has for the deck. So he was the Worcester Open champion with Bant Retreat. That was just about a month ago. We'll talk get more of that in a second. I want to see how this dredge deck can do. Les has won the die roll and is on the play with a copy of Faithless Looting. Best possible open here. Faithless Looting really just added a lot to graveyard decks. Uh, it's a four of oh. in Grishol brand, of course a four of here. <laughs> I love this. Okay, this is great magic being played. Discards two prized amalgams. Blue and black cards that we have no intention of ever casting. <laughs> For Ely, it's a Birds of Paradise. If Les can add a blood gas to the graveyard, this is going to snowball pretty quickly Do it. from here. Do it. Second Faithless Looting, discard some blood gas, land drop, <laughs> make 10 power. Looks like a tormenting voice in hand. Not sure. If, if he had that, he couldn't make a blood gas this yeah. turn off of it. Second Copperland Gorge, tormenting voice. So this is the neat interaction with cards that, with Dredge and a card like tormenting voice. So tormenting voice reads, discard a card as a cost to pay it play it. So he discards Golgari Grave Troll, and then he gets two draws. His first draw will be dredging back the, well, the Grave Troll he discarded. So he, he go ahead and dredged six, and then he found, that first dredge found a Stinkweed Imp in the graveyard, so he dredged five more. So it turns out the Tormenting Voice mills him 11 here. I guess 10 when you realize that he put the Stinkweed back in his hand. Right. A couple copies of Narca Amiibo will be entering the battlefield from here as well. Um, and we list did have a Bloodgast in hand. Uh, kept that in hand over the Grave Troll, primarily so he could dredge right away. Um, also because um, the Bloodgast, he doesn't have another land drop this turn. Now we're going to resolve if we see some Narc Amoebas. Those are coming out of the graveyard. And three prized amalgams. So I love, I love this. Okay, what is it? Turn two and we made uh, 11 power? Is that all? This is okay. Blood you know, gas is in the yard, too. Ely does have a Birds of Paradise. Yeah. So this is like a close game. My favorite answer to decks that play Birds of Paradise is to completely ignore them. <laughs> Eldritch Evolution from Ely on Birds of Paradise. So he can get any three drop out of his deck. Uh, probably Knight of the Relic. I'm thinking that Kitchen Finks isn't going to cut it here. Uh, Ely's best pa path to victory here is to set up his combo, get Knight plus uh, Rishi to Coral Helm, and hope he's actually able to deal enough damage with it through all these amalgams. Yeah, Dredge actually doesn't deal any damage to itself. So I, I like that Ely has his own unfair matchup back. So if you're unfamiliar with it, Retreat to Coral Helm means when a land enters the battlefield, Ely may tap or untap anything. So he uses that to get fetch lands with Knight of the Reliquary to untap the knight and then start to tap out Miller's blockers. Now, as every time he sacrifices a fetch land, the Knight of the Reliquary will get bigger, so he'll get this very large attacker and he'll tap out his opponent's blockers. But he, he's going to have to get Knight to a 2020, which I don't believe Ely actually can do in one go. Yeah, um, so typically the last land that you want to find with this combo is Kessig Wolf Run, but it looks like Ely is actually off of that card. Um, okay, he, he has, has Gavney Gavney Township, Township instead. Yeah. Well, he's banned now, so he doesn't have yeah, the red he can't mana. can't activate it, yeah. yeah. Um, that's interesting. Um, so he does have a stomping ground. Uh, there's some sideboard action for that, but uh, still off the wolf run. All right, well, now we're now going to go to Les Miller's turn three. Here's a swing for 11. Love it. Drops Ely down to nine. And uh, another other query, don't often see this, it's just a 2-2 two -two on the table. Les did dredge there with his draw step. We want more. We want more, Ryan. You always want 11 more. power is not enough. Why would you stop? <laughs> We're good, good. Insolent Neonate, the common from Shadows over Innistrad. This actually is a great card in the deck. What it's uh, another card that's templated discard, then draw. Yeah, so, so draw, then discard, frequently referred to as looting, has traditionally been a blue ability. And one of the things that Magic has done in the last couple years is they've added rummaging to red, which is backwards looting, right? You discard, then draw. It's typically not as good. Um, 
But in Dredge, it's actually better. Yeah, specifically, you have a card that you want in your graveyard. You want it in your graveyard before you draw a card. Discard your Dredge or your Gold Gallery Gravefall. Dredge it right away on that draw step. Ely shocks for Breeding Pool, plays Serum Visions, Scries 2, and then will concede game one. So a Dredge and Les Miller up 1-0. He's seen everything that he needs to see there. So before we look at the cybers here, I just want to ask, where did this Dredge deck come from? I know you were playing it two, three months ago, I believe. You were playing it at the Season 1 Envy around that time. None of these cards are, are that new. What happened? Because I'll tell you, that game looked phenomenal. I yes. mean, I mean that, was, that, was, that was a laugher, right? You're on Ely's side, Birds of Paradise, and oh, 11 power, and um, okay. It's a combination of two things. It's finding the exact right configuration. I tried a lot of things, and there's a lot of things yet to try. I haven't played with this exact build, but I've played with maybe 10 different builds, trying out a diff bunch of different one-mana, two-mana stuff. Uh, like Hedron Crab is something I tried. Gather the Pack is something I tried. So there's a ton of space to explore. I was also on Vengevine. This deck's not on Vengevine. You can have that or not. Uh, there's this deck versus the Gargadon deck. So it's A, finding the build that you're happiest with, and B, playing this deck against potentially some very powerful graveyard hate deck cards that exist in the modern format. That's kind of where I fell off. I was losing to a lot of rest in peace and very unhappy about it. Well, I don't know if really, I don't know if it's going to have any rest in peace. We'll look at that in just a second. But we're going to tell you, we've been talking about Eldritch Moon this weekend. Now, just around the corner is Magic's next set. That is Kaladesh, that one coming out in September. So if you know it over at Star City Games, we have been doing for a while some fabulous pre-release playmats. And this is no exception. This is Bengali Ray, the playmat. See, we have our, our Planeswalker from Kaladesh, right? I, I think that's exactly, we just took the card art for it? Yeah, fish and everything. Yeah. You can get this playmat at your local game store. No longer do you have to make the pilgrimage out to Roanoke. Though you're still, of course, welcome to do that. Uh, <laughs> stores may sign up today to go ahead and register for the pre-release and get this exclusive playmat. Um, this has to you have if you want if you as a store want to register for this though you're going to have to do it this weekend uh, for us to get those shipped out in time. The registration will close this week. So go ahead and contact us, ISP at StarCityGames.com or StarCityGames.com slash pre-release. This limited edition playmat will be available. And you guys, you're going to want to make sure you head out and get a copy of this one. I personally like to have cats on all things Magic related, whether it's my deck boxes, playmats, sleeves. So uh, you're probably a pretty big fan of the Cats on Mats Twitter account? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's not for me, but I totally see why you would love that. <laughs> This is ex this is another excellent cat to add to the collection. This could be uh, cats on cat mats. Cats put a cat, cat put a okay, cat okay. on the Bengali mat. That's perfect. So cats on cats on mats. Cats on cat mats. Okay, I'm with it. And you can put a cat mat on top of your cat on your cat mat. Cat mat on cat cat mat mat cat. My name starts with Matt. I can go one deeper, right? I would Matt, not Matt, recommend that you Matt lay put, on the cat. But Matt, if you're put, <laughs> Matt, Matt puts cat on cat, Matt. <laughs> Matt's cat on Matt's cat, Matt. I'm on down. Matt. Yeah. So we have a mulligan here on Ely's side. So we're going to look at Ely's sideboard. Just what can he mulligan do to stop that from happening? Three Fraction Gust, two Surgical Extraction, a whole list of one ofs. I'm just going to let you go for it. I, why even read these cards? He has two surgical extractions and a bunch of nonsense. And even surgical is only okay. He doesn't have Snapcaster Mage in his deck to follow it up, so he's trying to tag specifically Bloodgast, Prize to Malcolm, and hope that's enough. Is it Staticaster shoots Bloodgasts and Archimedes? Buzz? Do you care? Yeah, we can bring it in, sure. Okay. You care because the, we probably have some other bad cards, not because it's that good. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to matter in some number of games. Being able to hit blood gas every turn, yeah, that's definitely uh -huh. a thing. Less Miller's sideboard, not really applicable here. It's a lot of hate cards of his own. Uh, maybe some engineered explosives. I'm, I'm not sure he wants any of this. Yeah, so with Dredge, there's some consideration to the fact that any of your opponents could have copies of Graft Digger's Cage. Uh, your white opponents could have Rest in Peace. So you can hedge a little bit with your sideboarding around that. Um, you would have to naturally draw Ancient Grudge to deal with it as opposed to milling it. But if Les ends up with an Ancient Grudge in his hand or graveyard, I won't be terribly surprised. Uh, same is true for Engineered Explosives. Uh, that's a good one to draw. And, you know, Ely's deck's full of little creatures as well, so it could just be a reasonable spell to draw. Ely has kept his six. A Scry keeps a card on top. 
And we are underway with game two. He leads off on basic planes. He does have Path to Exile in hand. If he has a card like Surgical Extraction, what is he hoping to nab from Les Miller? So you're going to be on the lookout for multiple copies of something, ways to trigger um, prized amalgam. I think Bloodgast is your juiciest target because you get all the blood gas, they're, very, they're free to bring back, and they bring the amalgams with them. Just and you could potentially just strand the amalgams if you just hit the blood gas. This deck is great. He's discarding, oh, prized amalgam and stinkweed imp. That's fair. Yeah, Dredger on turn one has the amalgam for when he's able to find a blood gas. Pretty solid start. So between this round and next round, I'm probably spending all my time ordering cards now. Just, <laughs> I just thought I would let you know that. This is, this is great. Yeah, this deck is a lot of fun to play when it's humming. Make no mistake about that. It's quite powerful. It's doing fair and reasonable things. <laughs> uh, once upon a time, I uh, witnessed somebody at a card shop teaching a friend how to play First time this person had ever played with Magic dredge. with Dredge. Why would you? That's not. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's a I, I different have to game. Imagine if you were to dig deep into the Geneva Convention, there's some clause against specifically that. Um, that's like a human rights violation, I'm pretty sure. A Dredge 5 is coming from Les Miller. We'll see what Ely has. He shocked for a breeding pool here. He fetch shocked for a breeding pool, so it's 17. A card like Scavenging Ooze, Ely plays those. It doesn't. Even though. It, is it fast enough, even if he has it? I don't know. Surgical extraction here from Ely will hit Stinkweed Imp. Okay. So the Stinkweed Imp is just a visible graveyard enabler, and uh, Les has not yet presented a way to return a different creature, so that Amalgam may very well just be stranded in Les's deck. And now Ely gets a look at exactly what build of Dredge this is. So we look at e Les's hand. He's got two copies of the Insolent Neonate. He's got a Bloodgast. He's got a Conflagrate, a Faithless Looting, and looks like a second land. It's a pretty sweet hand. I, Stinkweed Imp was the immediate threat, right? Les would flip over five cards. If he, if he flips over a Bloodgast, then ugh. And something that I like here is Les held on to the Bloodgast in hand so that he'd be able to discard it on the following turn and immediately right. return it with Landfall. So what he can do here, right, he can, yeah, he can play either a Neonate or Faithless Looting, discarding Bloodgast, then play his second land, get... You know, Ely had the Surgical, but, yeah, Les is going to have a great turn too, nonetheless. And something you saw with uh, Les's deck face up there, he has brought in Thoughtseize. And when okay. you don't know what kind of graveyard hate your opponent is going to have, it's a nice, powerful, generic answer. Ely's deck also is somewhat of a combo deck, so you can Thoughtseize them off of their turn three kills or whatever. Sure. So now Ely will play his first threat. It is a copy of Kasali Pride Mage. That will hit for three a turn. Not many artifact and enchantment targets, though, from the Dredge deck. Yeah, that's... Uh, just a fast clock that Ely lives, leaves in. Um, has worse stuff that he can board out. Lesses draws life from the loam. That's actually great here, as now if he wants to Faithless Looting again, he can get multiple excellent cards in the graveyard. Yep. Access to a dredger, always good. Even though it only dredges three, still dredges. Here's Faithless Looting from Les Miller. I forget that Faithless Looting draws cards. I feel like if I just let him discard two cards, he'd still be playing it. <laughs> uh, if, you'll, uh, if you look at the archives, uh, Corey McDuffie's dredge deck from SCG in Indianapolis, he was actually playing a copy of One With Nothing. Oh, let's just discard everything. <laughs> All right, so he discards Blood Gas and Light from the Loam. Now he'll play a Bloodstained Mire. He found that off of the Faithless Looting. So Blood Gas is into play. Looks like Les is going to shock for Stomping Ground. Keep in mind, Prized Amalgam will come into play, but it's on the end step. Right. In case you're wondering, oh, did Les miss it? No, not yet. And sometimes you would see a player hang on to a fetch land so you could trigger a blood gas again at a later time. Um, what can happen here, if you were to put more cards in his graveyard, say another prized amalgam, the end step returning of this amalgam would trigger that one to come back on Ely's end step. Right. Now, because he has a loam in the graveyard, I know maybe he doesn't have to be so... He can be very easy with his lands, right? He just... Yeah. He'll have more. And the, the, the Neonate, you might just want to keep that around because it's both a clock and you can wait around until you find a Grave Troll. Kasali Pride Mage swings. It's a 3-3. Keep in mind, Bloodgast cannot block, so Les will take three. 
Now we go over to Ely. He will crack another fetch land. Les's start here is once again impressive, except that he did this one through a surgical extraction. Yeah. And it's Corsair of Crufix from Cassis. And what is interesting to note, uh, you know, Eli, Eli has cast his powerful Graveyard Hate spell, but Les still has most of the stuff that he wants in his deck. Still has all the Blood Gas, still has all the Amalgam, still has all the Grave Trolls. It was Stinkweed Imp that was hit. And I liked the play at the time, but going forward, if Eli can't win this game fast, we're going to see Les snowball out of control from here. He, it didn't slow Les down very much either in the... Yeah. We see Les is going to, it looks like, discard Conflagrate to his Insolent Neonate to dredge life from the loam. He dredges Thoughtseize and the other two copies of life from the loam. This is all on Ely's end step. Not ideal cards to flip over, but more dredgers anyway. Okay, technically this is actually on Ely's main phase, and that's kind of heads up from Les in case he gets a perfect mill involving prized amalgam, right? Yep. Uh, and what's interesting here is now with life from the loam, uh, if he's able to find a bunch of lands in his graveyard and he has the conflagrate now, he could set up a really big conflagrate. So he dredged that first life from the loam on Ely's main phase. That didn't do anything. On up, on his draw step, he dredged the another copy of life from the loam. He got an Arc Amoeba off it. So there is a prized amalgam that's going to come out of the graveyard on the end step here. He flipped another one there. The attack comes from Cassis. It's the 2 1 Bloodgast and the 3 3 amalgam. And even though the blood gas would get eaten by the Corsair, this attack is still back. free. Yeah, yep. blood gas never stays dead. <laughs> it's not what it's known for. No lands dredged in those six cards for Les Miller. That's a bit of a downside for him. He does have one land left in his hand. I believe it's a copy of Dakmore Salvage. Yep, and he had uh, a fetch land earlier in the game, so he has access to some uh, life from the low. Oh, right, he has, yep, he has one land in the graveyard. So the attack actually looks like Ely will take the whole point of the damage. Now, why is, is there reason to not block? So Les already has Conflagrate in the graveyard, and he has enough cards in hand to really clean up Ely's board just by casting it after a block. Okay, yeah, he discarded it off the first of those two, ins off that insolent neonate during Ely's turn. Conflagrate, red, red, discard X cards. Yeah, divide X damage. Had Ely blocked, he would have lost his board. Yep, he had four cards in hand, so if he blocks the Bloodgast, Ely, uh, Les can just discard his hand, kill Pride Mage, kill Corsair, and what is Ely even doing at that point? Fetch land here from Miller. Though the alternative here is that that Conflagrate can just go upstairs. He can just hit Ely with a fireball here, so Ely has to be concerned about his life total as well. Conflagrate is a sick card in this deck. Yeah. Plays another insolent neonate. Getting back that prized amalgam all the way back from the beginning of the turn. That's one that's really important to remember. Uh, if you're going to pick up this deck, you have a lot of weird triggers that uh, you have to be very mindful of. Serum Visions from Cassis. So what Les was doing was he actually was keeping his graveyard in the order that it was cast. You're allowed to do that. Um, it means that he has to remember that amalgam. I think, I would say if I were playing it, I would just move the Amalgam to the top of the graveyard. It means my opponent knows it's coming, but yep. then at least I know. There was a Versus video, uh, Jerry played against Todd. Todd was playing Dredge, and when he triggered an Amalgam, he would just turn it sideways in his graveyard so that it would be that, there kind of poking too. out. Yeah. Yep. Legacy is the only format where you cannot do that. Graveyard order matters because of cards like Death Spark. You know, yeah. Death Spark. But my uh, if you were to play Popper, Death Spark, okay. actually a card people might play. Um, yeah, there's Graveyard Order Matters stuff, so you just can't mess around with it. Serum Visions from Ely. He leaves a land on top for the course of Crufix. He'll gain a life. Next card flipped, an Eternal Witness coming down the pipeline. But so much damage from Les. And as you mentioned, there is that Conflagrate in the graveyard. And Les can dredge life from the loam, build up his hand. Ely knows it's coming. Yep, and uh, potentially on this turn, we could see less Conflagrate for up to five, right? He has three cards in hand. Life would be the fifth. Um, he would have to if, if cast it's a draw life, three. find a land. Yeah, he has to get three lands back, and he has to play one before he could cast the Conflagrate. But what, we're, what I'm getting at is that Ely's in trouble in a yes. big way. <laughs> Less will dredge again this turn, puts another prized amalgam and a Golgari Grave Troll in the yard as he gets the life from the loam. And here's the team. See, let's just 
throwing caution to the wind with his creatures. We'll see if Ely gets another turn even. Yeah, and the blood gas is just a threat that Ely can't afford to block because it would be very easy for Les to bring that back, which would trigger prized amalgam. Um, yeah. There's really not good blocks on this attack. This is the best I think he can do, lining Ely, it up like he yeah, is. Yeah, he has to block. He's putting Kasali Prime Mage in front of Bloodgast. Courser in front of Prized Amalgam. Now, I'm curious about even blocking the Bloodgast. He, he knows Les has a land, right? Okay, he's going to path to exile the Prized Amalgam. Now it makes sense. Doing that before the blood gas dies. The thing, though, is if the Pride Mage isn't blocking, Ely's just dead to Conflagrate. Okay, so it has to block. Right. No, I was wondering why it wasn't blocking the Amalgam, and then Ely yeah, shows Yeah, soak us. up more damage. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Because I, I'll tell you, this trade isn't really a trade. This is a jump block. <laughs> yeah. Maybe less with all these Life from the Loams has no land. No, that's not true. <laughs> so two damage ends up coming through, dropping Ely to eight. Blood gas dies. For the time being. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> that will not last. Here is life from the loam from Miller. Let's see, does he have three lands yet? He's got a basic mountain, a fetch land. I'm um, just two. Two mana draw two. Still pretty great. Yeah, is that maybe a missed up here from Les? It looks like he had another fetch land in his hand. He could have mm. play cracked it before casting loam and then yeah. gotten a third card. There's a lot going on in this deck. Right, and at this point, he can make a couple small decisions. Uh, I, I really, he would have to just be extremely afraid to enter the attack step to realistically lose from this point, right? Yeah. But yeah, there, there's definitely a lot of complicated things happening with this deck. Actually playing yeah. at optimization with Dredge is extremely difficult. Well, there's actually a good reason to make the play the way he did, and it's not immediately clear. You see he has three, cop three basic mountains in play. The deck only plays three basic mountains. It has one, it has four shock lands. They're all red. But if he's worried about his life total, then he would want to. I would put that in the that. category yeah. of being too worried about something that's not going to happen. Well, here's what's going to happen. How about Conflagrate discarding everything, blowing up Ely's Courser and dealing two to Ely. Now he's at six on empty board. And uh, plenty of attackers left over for less. Five creatures. Ely's got to play that land hollowed burial that we're all waiting on. <laughs> Just a good miracle terminus. Uh, Even these, better. These are, of Even course, better. not. Yes, cards. a miracle that he can't draw it. Yeah, it would be a miracle for him to draw it because play, it's, not, it from it's hand. not in his yeah. 75, so it would be a heck of a okay. miracle. He does not. Oh, man. Well, how about Serum Visions? Maybe that'll find, that'll find the. <laughs> the card that he doesn't, he's not playing here. <laughs> I don't even know it. Uh, descend upon the sinful off oh, of that's some Simeon great. Spirit yeah. Guides. Yeah. Go with some more Shadows over Innistrad cards. That one I like. <laughs> it's got to exile too. It can't just, you know, it can't just be Day of Judgment. So Ely's taking some time, thinking, you know, making sure he's dead, thinking, am I really losing to Dredge? Am I really I, losing to Dredge on camera? I think he is really losing to Dredge. This deck is impressive. Yes. Uh, these kind of fair decks with minimal graveyard hate, with uh, low potential to combo finish. This is Dredge's ideal matchup. Here's Knight of the Rel or Eternal Witness, rather, getting back Path to Exile. Uh, Ely's at six. I guess he is only taking four damage on the board. So... If Les is able to find some blood gas and return them to play, they would have haste here. Um, but right now, it looks like he could survive a turn. Yep, a dredge of six off Grave Troll does not flip much of value. It flips another prized amalgam, but that's it. Not that he needs much value. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just means that Ely's not dead right now. I would be tempted to sacrifice the Neonate and dredge some more before combat here. Just try to get that blood gas? Yeah. We'll see. Les will just swing the team. Path to Exile hits another prized amalgam. So now two amalgams are, ex are in Les's Exile Zone. Eternal Witness will chump block the amalgam. I mean, you look at the other blocks. You can't block Narcomy, but it has flying. You can't block Neonate, it has menace. You can block Bloodgast, but that's horrible. Yep, that uh, actually gets the prized amalgam out of Les's yard. It, it, it's objectively worse to block the Bloodgast. Right, that amalgam, yep, 
coming right back. The blood gas coming right back. Well, a very bad chump block. Yeah, well, as it is right now, Les actually can't bring back the prize amalgam that's in his yard. Yep. Okay. It's stranded there until the blood gas or a different blood gas is in the bin. Four damage will hit Ely. He'll drop from six down to two. Last checking his I think he's got some faithless looting in there if he wants it. Now he'll sack the Neonase. Let's let's keep it going. Discard Grave Troll and dredge it. Lightning Axe. Land Narc Amoeba. Oh, there we go. Con another Conflagrate? Well, there it is. Okay, there yep. and Ely seeing the Conflagrate. Extends the hand. Less Miller with dredge improves to an impressive 2-0. This dredge deck is for real. And if you're not ready with the graveyard and you're playing a fair deck, if you're playing Jund, some kind of band concoction, I think that this is your fate. So this build of dredge, it is less flashy. It doesn't have the Gargadons and the Bridge from Belows. But you know one thing I really like about it? Three main deck conflagrates. That card is 